Hi guys, today in this tutorial I will teach you how to make these smooth text animations for your edits to make your edits look better. You've been asking me to make this tutorial for a very long time and I hope you like it. Before we get started, I want to thank all of you for your amazing love and support. Thanks for all your kind comments and everything guys. Now I won't bother you anymore, let's move to the tutorial. The first animation that we're gonna learn is this one. This animation is pretty simple to make. Just create a new text layer and then type your text there. Then go to the effects and presets panel and there search slow fade on. Drag and drop onto this text layer and then press U to bring up the keyframes. Now these keyframes you can customize according to your character's voice. If you want, it, want to make it faster, just decrease the length between the keyframes. If you want to make it slow, just drag it to the right. In my case, I'll keep it like this. To add the smooth fade out animations, just go there and search fade out slow. Drag and drop onto your text layer. Press U to bring up the keyframes. And you can like make it the same length like these ones, so that it looks even and more smooth. Ok now we're gonna move our text from left to right, for that go to the end of your text layer then press P to bring up position, create a keyframe there then go to the start and you can move it to right and you can move it to left, it's on you, you can also move it up and down, it's completely on you, you can change it to whatever you like, it depends on what type of animation you want. Ok after creating the keyframe, just select both of these keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them, then right click, separate dimensions. Now we're gonna select, since we change only X position, so we're gonna select X position keyframes, go to the graph editor, make sure you selected value graph there, and copy my graph. So now we finally created this smooth, smooth moving text animation. The second animation that we're gonna be learning is this one. This animation is also very simple to create, for that just create a text layer, and then type your text there. After typing your text, just add slow fade on to your text layer, like I did. And now to create those that smooth animation, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go like approximately a few frames after the our slow fade on finishes, and there we need to create a position and a rotation keyframe. For those who don't know how to create keyframes, you can press R and click on this clock to create rotation keyframe, and press P to create position keyframe. I was using a shortcut because I created a shortcut for that. Now go to the start of your text layer and then just move the position. Now you can move it in any direction, uh, depends on what you like. But I will move it to this direction like this. And then change the rotation to minus 10, like this. Now select all of these keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them. Go to the graph editor, make sure you're selecting speed graph. And here, copy my graph. And also guys one more thing, these values that I put here is completely customizable. You can like make it minus 15 or you can also make it minus 20. It's on you, you can change it to whatever you like. I'm just teaching you the basics how to create it. Ok now to make the second text animation, we're gonna do the same thing that we did for the first one. The same thing we're gonna do with this one, go a few frames after our for keyframe of slow fade on finishes and then there create a position and a rotation keyframe then go to the start and change this to minus 10 and for this time i'll move it downward so that it looks they are both coming from the opposite directions now select all the keyframes f9 to easy ease then go to the graph editor and the same graph that we used before so now our text will look like this the next animation that we're gonna be learning is this smooth handwriting text that you see a lot in many videos. For this one just create a text layer and then type your text there. For this one the font that we're gonna be choosing is this one. And to make it look more better we're gonna turn off the caps and then we're gonna type all this in small characters because in small characters this handwriting looks better. Then we're going to increase the scale so that it becomes readable, like this. And now select your text layer and then we can change it to full. And then here select the pen tool, zoom in and you need to create a mask on all of these characters.
once you finish creating a single mask just select the previous point and then you can click anywhere to create a new mask like this once we have finished creating the mask on our text just select your text layer and apply the effect called stroke in the stroke select all masks and increase this value to around 10 and now create a keyframe for end and then here you can drag it to when you want your animation to finish and then at the start put the value to 0 after you put the value to 0 click on this and change it to reveal original image and then select both of these keyframes press F9 to easy ease them and then copy my graph you are free to play with the keyframes to make the animation faster or slower it depends on you whatever you like To create the out animation, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna create a start keyframe, then go where you want your animation to finish, and then there, change it to 100. Then select the both of these keyframes and copy my graph. And don't forget to add these scale keyframes so that the text looks more clean. The next animation that we're going to be learning is this one. This animation is very simple to make and you might have seen this in almost all of my edits and it's uh, very good. Now to make this animation, just create a new text layer, type your text there and now create a mask on the text. After creating the mask on your text, just expand this menu and here change the mask feather to 10. Now just click expand this menu and here click on animate and then click on position. Then create a keyframe for position and uh, move it to where you want your animation to finish. Uh, let's say I want it to finish at 2 seconds and let's go to the start and change this value to make your text fully disappear. Now set both of these keyframes, easy ease them and then copy my graph. As you can see this animation looks very smooth and it is very good and I almost use it in all of my edits and you should also start to use it. And to make it look more good you need to add the scale keyframes. And now this animation looks very good. For the out animation you can either use fade out slow or you can use opacity keyframes. Uh, what I mostly use I use opacity keyframes. Now we finally created our animation. And this is it for today's tutorial guys, uh, I know I haven't taught the text colors and the, the textures that I use in my edits. For that I will make a separate tutorial because there's a lot of effects that uh, I use for the, those textures. And I hope this tutorial helped you, if it did then make sure to put like on this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video guys, see you soon.